Hello and welcome to uh, the homework and this is another tutorial part 2 and we have tasks here well we did this one we open uh, a file and we read we read the data okay and we did count the total numbers of uh, like the total names um, what we have to do is to count the number of individual names, uh, select the top uh, names and display it. We display already and calculate the average. Well, I have did uh, some work uh, already and let's uh, let's explain what what have what have did uh, what have done. Well, first of all. Um, I've managed to uh, open uh, an array, an array of strings, and I set it to uh, to zero. So uh, it's just one cell, just one placeholder of the array. Um, afterwards, um, we enter to the, the while loop like uh, the previous tutorial. We counter plus one. And then uh, I've did this one. This one says that whatever in the array, okay, uh, resize it and resize it to a string. This is a type of string, okay. And um, we reference our array, which is ARR. And uh, this one is how many uh, cells we want to. Uh, resize it. So we want to resize uh, whatever whatever this this is. Okay. So um, plus one. Okay. So if this is uh, I don't know one, then we want to uh, increase it to two cells. Okay. And then um, just like before, we says r uh, whatever r is. Um, put whatever uh, the stream reader is uh, is reading. Um, afterwards, we've uh, we just uh, going to print it on the screen. Anyhow, um, let's uh, let's say how we uh, let's say how we are we uh, going to uh, make an average. So uh, let's see. I've done a, I've done a, a for loop. A for loop is going from the uh, array until all the length of the array minus one. Minus one is just because we don't want to uh, uh, expand out of the boundary of the array. So um, we're going to uh, for each loop. The for each loop will uh, count. Okay, we'll we'll go every character. We name the character um, just a uh, name, Kara. Okay, and whoops, and it will, will iterate through all the uh, all the uh, characters in the R I. Okay, which means whatever line is it is. Okay, whatever cell it is. I don't know. Let's say uh, let's say um, R R uh, one. So it it will go to this uh, to this cell and go uh, through all the characters, all the all the characters. Uh, if it's in A, B, C, I don't know, uh, and count and count car, which is zero now, will increase by one. Okay. Whatever car, uh, whatever count car is, we're going to. Um, place it in the average, and if average have already something in there, okay, from previous uh, uh, count car, then we add it, add it to to the average, okay. This one I made bef because of um, let's say. Uh, we want to uh, 
Well, let, let me let me just uh, uh, begin with this one. This one average is uh, whatever the uh, sum is. Whatever the sum is, we we need to uh, divide it by the um, uh, by the um, by the stuff we have. Okay, so we have average uh, divided by i which is the what, whatever uh, names uh, we just uh, loop so there is a, a law in mathematics that we we can't we can't uh, divide by zero so this is how I uh, avoid it I just mean well if i is zero then do nothing okay do not do not uh, um, divide it by zero and if it's not zero then okay it's not problem you can go ahead and divide it by whatever number it is after that uh, count car is zero so we have a fresh count car to uh, count um, afterwards we, we, we use it the same for loop Okay, and we have a nested for loop, which means a for loop within a for loop, and this for loop will will count um, we count the uh, the individual names that we have. Okay, actually this is not quite uh, good. I will. I will Fix it like fix that later. Um, after that, we have to select the top 20 names by number. Okay, so we need to see uh, if i is less than 20 with 20, okay, which means the equal sign then we need to uh, type of the, of the screen, okay? We need to uh, say number uh, 2 is whatever number 2 is, okay? And then we just type uh, all the um, all the uh, all the results that we get. Anyway, I hope uh, it helped you and cheers!